Please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Thanks. how the concept of Pilates, it was, it's, it's complicated. It's, com it's not complicated when you talk about alignment, it's complicated when you learn something that you, that you have to bring into the ballet studio. That's why I said, like at a certain age group, they just don't, they don't understand that, you know, doing, why do, doing, you know, just leg circles and, and then when I do rond de jambes at the bar, and I'm like, okay, remember we did leg circles on our backs, and now we're standing, and now we're doing rond de jambes. So what is it you're stabilizing? What is it you feel the same stabilization technique? You know, what are the muscles? And so they, you know, they have to think about it for a while, but they, they, it, it's not quick to, the, they don't have a good answer like, like that, you know, so, um, but, they get it, but it just takes a little longer. So if you can infuse that all the time, and boy, if we had, you know, Pilates all the time, they would, I think they would, they would get, get it quicker, but because of the scheduling, because they have academics, and there's so much going on. This isn't an academy where we work all day, and a conservatory where it's, you know, everything's fit into one, under one roof, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that's what's great about summer. I don't dance anymore, but every couple of years I take a dance class. That's really bad. That's a bad standard. <laughs> I do Pilates. So when I take a dance class, because now I do Pilates all the time, but not dance, I always confuse the dance teacher and they look at me and because my body can hop into that posture, because it remembers it through Pilates, uh -huh. the, the teacher thinks that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it only takes about a minute <laughs> for them to figure out that I don't. I have those connections that I didn't used to have when I wasn't doing so much Pilates, but was doing more dancing. That's right. So, that, so that's re that really proves your point. If I would have just done a lot of Pilates while I was dancing, that would have been great. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's also, um, you know, in, in classical ballet, I think the second um, what, what I love about teaching a certain level, um, usually about between 10 and 12 years old, they, they finally get that instruction and understanding of ballet instruction. They finally get that and they're able to control their body. And so when they understand they, can control, they have control over their body while they're executing ballet, that is like a light bulb moment. That's like, oh my gosh, that's when they start to really like it. And that's when they start to really kind of imagine themselves going further with it. But when they can't control their bodies doing something, it, it does, they don't really catch on to classical ballet. Mm -hmm. But if you add Pilates in that mix a little sooner, you might grab students a little sooner, you know, because they can learn to control their bodies um, by bringing Pilates into the studio because they understand that, you know, I just need to send the right brainwave to that part of my body to get it working, you know, and that's, I mean, Pilates is a lot of mental work, you know, and connecting those two. But if you, you get that at 10 years old and then you come into the ballet studio, boy, that'd be ideal. <laughs> but because we only have them a couple hours a day, it's, it's really difficult, so. And then, and then also controlling a probably high from a whole body, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And Pilates is great for that too, to learn that That's control. Like exactly. Actually, where is the end of the range when I'm not, you know, using all the mobility in every other, other joint around the joint that I'm moving to get my body to go further? Right. That's an interesting point that I see myself when I work with the young dancers in the summer intensive is that um, we can do the same routine as I do in a regular adult normal people's class and the difference is that dancers of course know the routine by the second class so that's one beautiful thing but the bad thing is that they have a lack of stability they can't do a plank they can't stabilize mm -hmm. but they go very far but they don't notice that they are taking the mobility if they lift a leg it's going to be the lower back if mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. 
So where is, where is that end range? How far can my joint go a healthy way? But that, that's also hypermobility and ballet could be a trademark to, the, to who they are as a dancer. You know, so that's fine for now, but that doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't work 20 years from now when they're 40 and they're still trying to dance and they can't walk. You know, so I mean, like you said, the healthy approach, um, I think adding Pilates into your training teaches you about, um, you know, stabilization and mobilization. And, um, and I think that within a healthy range, and I think dancers, some dancers don't ever learn that. And that's where they either get injured or they have a great career, but then they can't walk when they're 45 <laughs> or 50, you know? So, because they haven't learned to work within their range of motion, a healthy range of motion, which is exactly what you said. It's what Pilates can provide. So that's just not emphasized that much in classical ballet because I think sometimes the, the students are looking for a way to be different and hypermobility, you know, is like, whoa, not everyone's hypermobile. I can put my leg way up here. But, you know, unfortunately, classical ballet, there are lots of students that can do that now. So it's kind of the norm. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, just try to produce healthy bodies. And I think Pilates, adding Pilates into that mix is not something I grew up with because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't as prominent as it is now. But but I think there's absolutely, you know, no reason why it shouldn't be involved in, in every, you know, every um, technique class at the very beginning.